say hey, Eva. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's feeling very autumnal today. I've got my down jacket on and my wool headband. Um, Aoife's in her woolies as well. Um, so I am out at a place called Dale, Maine, is I think how you say it. It's a country house near Allswater, near Penrith in the lakes. And I'm actually here because my mum is doing a fell race. So I thought, oh, I'll just come along as well. It's kind of something to do on a Sunday. Harvey's gone climbing. Um, and I'm gonna just go for a little walk. Uh, so it's just me, Oslo and Aoife. And we're gonna just do this little walk over to a village called Dacre, I think is how you say it. Um, it's only like a mile there and a mile back. And then maybe watch my mum race a little bit and explore the house, um, the country house. It's so beautiful, the leaves behind me are falling. Yeah, since we got back from Scotland, everything just feels so autumnal. I love this time of year. October, I think, is officially my favourite month because it's the month that Aoife was born and it's just so beautiful. Yeah, I love it when it starts to get colder and crisp and the colours are amazing. So yeah, I'm feeling really happy to be home actually. It's really nice to be home. Got lots to look forward to and I wanted to film like a little autumnal vlog, just doing some nice autumn activities as a family. Um, so yeah, that is what this will be. So I'm just stopped because I actually probably need to check that I'm going the right way. <laughs> um, so there's a path there as well, so yes. So I'm just making the map available offline on my OS app. It's really straightforward, but you never know, hey? So I've just kind of got this area. So we're gonna walk over to Dacre from Dale, Maine, which is over here. But I've kind of just saved the whole area just in case we decide to go a bit further. Um, maybe go up here or something. We'll see. So I've decided that this might be quite a nice spot to watch the race. Beautiful views. So we've got these new rugs for our store with our logo on, which is really cool. And they are recycled wool, like dog, picnic blankets, whatever you want really. Obviously, it's a little bit more bulky than the pack mat, but I just brought it out today to kind of try it out, really. So we're going to have a sit on this. Here they go. Yay, clapping, well done. Hey everyone, I just wanted to interrupt this video quickly to talk to you about Findra who, as some of you might know, I am an ambassador for. So Findra are a Scottish-based brand who specialise in wool products and merino wool products. So I absolutely love them. You've probably seen throughout my last few videos that I wear them pretty much all the time. So I'm currently wearing all Findra. <laughs> And what I love is that I can wear them through winter, summer, spring, autumn, and also for day-to-day -day kind of casual things, but also te more technical hiking. So this morning I've been in the woods um, playing with some of Eva's friends and I've been wearing my Findra. This is the Marin cowl neck top. So it has this built-in neck, which is really nice. It keeps you nice and cozy. Um, and this new gilet, which I love. Um, it's wool as well well and really cozy. So in a 
video a few months ago I told you about what I wear for summer so in this video I wanted to tell you about how I layer my finger pieces in autumn so I'm still wearing the same things the exact same things that I was wearing in summer but I'm just layering them more and a little bit differently so I've actually got on today I'm wearing the root t-shirt which is just this t-shirt here and I'm wearing the cowl neck, as I said, the marin cowl neck top, and then I've got a gilet as well, so I am like fully laid up in wool. Um, I also have this fern stripe top, which is without the cowl neck, which I really like, and I like layering this up with the root t-shirt on top. I was wearing that in, well, I wore that when we went up Ben Allegan. Um, I was wearing that quite a lot in Scotland. I, I like layering the different colours as well, so like a grey underneath with a green on top, or green and green I really like as well. I love this teal colour as well. Um, they have so many lovely colours and a mixture of bright ones, but I really like the more earthy ones as well. They have a lot of this is like a lock blue kind of teal colour. Finger also do loads of really nice accessories which make great gifts for Christmas or you might want to add it to your own Christmas list. So I'll show you a few bits that me and Harvey have recently got. So we both have these wool hats. I have the green one, Harvey has the orange one, but we can mix and match because they are the same. <laughs> um, they also do these really nice buffs which are merino wool. Um, so we've just got a couple of new ones. So we've got this grey one. So if I wasn't wearing the cowl neck, you basically, if I was just wearing normal merino t-shirt or top, then these really really nice and cosy as a buff. You probably see me wearing this, I wore this a lot last winter. Um, but you can pull it up a little bit over your face as well. They're so soft and cosy. I much prefer them to the cotton ones which get really smelly as well. These just stay fresh um, all the time. So I have that one in a grey and this stripy blue and also this nice greeny grey. So Harvey and I just share everything pretty much and I'm going to put Aoife in one of these this winter as well. We like with Aoife we like putting it on her neck and then over her head because it just all stays on and stays together. A couple of other things that are really nice Christmas gifts. They have this hot water bottle cover, um, which again is wool. Uh, it's so nice and cozy. This would be great in the van. And what's really nice about this is it actually has this hand warmer bit here. So you can put your hands in, which is so nice, such a nice feature. Um, and then the other thing that I'm pretty obsessed with are these. Uh, these are the, I think, I can't remember exactly what the name is. Oh, the Nordic socks. So, Harvey and I both got a pair of these. Um, they are like the coziest, comfiest socks that I think I've actually ever had. And I'm not just saying that, they are so cozy. Um, they are really thick, as you can see here. And oh, they're just so nice and woolly and thick. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've both got those and I actually am wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing some of the thinner ones which I also really like for slipping into boots. These are really nice for like around the house, um, I wear them like as kind of slipper socks, I, they'd be great in the van again, camping. Um, you could also wear them with boots if you want a really thick pair of socks with your boots, whereas the other ones I have are a bit thinner so they're quite nice to just slide into boots. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, I'm a really big fan of Findra. Um, I'll put some links to my favourite pieces down below and I hope that you enjoyed seeing <laughs> a few of my favourite pieces. Um, we'll get back to the video now. I just wanted to quickly add that Harvey and I are actually going to be speaking at Kendall Mountain Festival with Findra, which I'm really excited about, also really nervous. Um, I think it's going to be on the Saturday night at 6pm in base camp, um, but I will let you guys know if that changes or follow me on Instagram and I'll check it there. I have not really done a lot of speaking events so I'm really nervous and it'd be really nice to have some people who kind of know who we are and um, might ask us some nice questions. So yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the video now.
Bananas. Come on. Come on. Passing out seats, mask below the nose. Who will take a chance on you? Like a bird lost in an airport, like some incidental truth. There's no one to hold your drink now. Good morning everybody. It is such a beautiful autumn day today. It started off kind of cloudy and grey and rainy and now the sun's come out and the light in this room is actually really nice in the mornings. It's like the only time we get a little bit of light in here. Um, we just walked to the market. Um, Aoife fell asleep on the way home so I had a little moment to myself and now we're actually heading into the Lake District today um, which I'm excited about because it's a beautiful day. Heather is visiting, so you might, you'll have seen that. Last night we went to a place called Gurnall Dobbs, which is a really nice swim spot. Um, so my mum, me, Aoife, Heather, Oslo and Ola, the dogs, are gonna go over to the Lake District. I think we're gonna go to Elterwater. We're just gonna have a chill day, not doing a big hike or anything. We're gonna go to Elterwater. Um, they might go for a swim. We're gonna just like have a little wander along um, Elter Water and over to Chester's by the River, which is a great little cafe. And um, back again, just have a nice, yeah, nice few hours in the lakes. Aoife's just got, um, I just bought these little, I'll show you actually. I bought Aoife some little shoes on Vinted. She's just kind of, she's getting, well, I don't really know what close to walking is because she's my first baby, but she's standing up all the time and she's actually done a few steps. Um, but she's not properly walking yet, but she's kind of getting there. So I've bought, been, I've got her some shoes. I actually got these on Vinted, which if you don't know is like a second hand, uh, it's like an app and you can buy stuff second hand and there's so many baby things on there. And if you know the right brands to look for, it's just great. So I got her these really great little, um, they're called Tiki, Tiki shoes and they're leather, like barefoot style shoes. They're almost in brand new condition. They're quite expensive um, to buy them new and I got them for like, I don't know, like a tenner or something? I can't remember how much they were, but really cheap. Um, so she's just hanging out with your shoes, aren't you? <laughs> Shall we have a look? What are they, Aoife? Can we see your shoes? Yeah, can mummy have a look? Here they are. Hold them up into the light. They're just like little leather, um, yeah, little leather shoes with a little sole. They're actually really big for her though, so I don't know when Maybe I got the wrong size, or I don't know, maybe she's got small feet. <laughs> Do you like them though? Do you like your shoes? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Are we going to go on a walk in the Lake District today? <laughs> Do you want to go on a walk, Oslo? <laughs> I'm wearing the Findra, I think this is the Marin. Um, I always get mixed up between two of them. So there's this, these ones with um, the kind of stripe on the arm and then there's some with the stripe all the way down. I love this top. I've actually got a Findra t-shirt on underneath as well.
I got from Chester's by the river. It's like buckwheat and chocolate or something. It looks so good. We are back home from the Lake District now and I'm just having a little cup of tea and a little relax while Aoife is actually having a nap, a very late nap, it is 5 p.m. but sometimes you just gotta take <laughs> whatever you can get. Um, and Harvey's actually still at work, so it's just me, which is actually quite nice. Um, I'm actually gonna wrap up some of Aoife's birthday presents. So I thought I'd show you guys a few of the little bits that we have got her. We haven't actually bought her very many birthday presents because it's her first birthday and we know that she's gonna get really spoiled by her grandma and her aunties and everybody else. Um, so we haven't really bought her much. There's a few things that I really wanna get her um, for when she's a little bit older, like I'd really like to, well, Harvey might make her a little outdoor kitchen, um, for maybe for Christmas. And yeah, there's a few things that I like the look of, but our house is so small that I'm not sure if they'll work for us for now. Um, so anyway, we've just bought her a few little bits, um, mostly actually just some clothing and a couple of books and that kind of thing. So I'll show you a few of the things. I'm gonna wrap them up now. So we brought her a new Patagonia down jacket. The one that she is currently wearing is three to six months and she's obviously almost one so we bought her an upgrade this is the 12 to 18 month one and we actually got her the same colors to be honest i wasn't super keen on any of the colors but i do like this green not as keen on the pink but at least people might think she's a girl <laughs> so there we go everyone thinks she's a boy not that i care at all but yeah and then this cute little patagonia top bear hugs and these really cute dungarees and then I also got her we I should say we I've picked everything well no actually Harvey helped me pick the clothes um we got her these crayons they are rice bran wax crayons because she's still at the eating everything stage and we played with crayons the other day at play like a little play group and she just ate them so yeah that's that and then got a few books to wrap up, which came from friends um, and family who just kind of gave them us like this. I thought I'd wrap them. And this really cute um, Peter Rabbit game that our friend Steve got for Aoife. Yeah, so I'm gonna wrap up these now.